Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix an error. That is, the code execution cannot proceed because msbcp 140.dll or vc runtime 140.dll was not found. So if you are receiving this error message while launching insurgency sandstorm game on Wikipedia, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to make sure that you install this visual C++ files for this. Copy this link. The link is provided in the in the video description. So open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Scroll down. Here you can see Visual Studio 2015, 17 and 19. So here you can see x86 and x64. So you have to install both the file x86 and x64. So click on both the exe file. And once the download is complete, run both the exe file. So click on repair or install whatever you see. Click on yes to allow. Run both x64 and x86. So click on repair or install whatever you see. So click on repair or install and then click on yes to allow. And then let the installation complete. So once the installation is complete, you can click on restart over here or you can close this window, then go to the start menu, then click on the power icon and then click on restart. And after the restart, you can go ahead and try to launch the game. Now still you are receiving the error message. In that case, you can go to your stream library and then make a right click on the game. So I don't have that game over here. So make sure that you are making a right click on insurgency sandstorm game and then select properties and then go to the local files tab. So go to local files tab, click over here, then click on verify integrity of game files. And once that is done, you can go ahead and try to launch the game. Now still you are receiving the error message. In that case, you can go ahead and uninstall and reinstall the game. To uninstall, go ahead and make a right click on the game in Steam and then select manage, then click on uninstall. When you select manage, you will see the uninstall option over here, uninstall and then restart your computer and then reinstall the game. So one of the steps should definitely help you to get rid of this error. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.